Section 6.2, Formulas Involving Circles. After these videos, you should be able to calculate arc length, angle measure, or radius length if given the other two measures. You should be able to find the sector area of a circle. You should find the angular speed, this is an important one, of an object traveling over a circle. Okay. So I want you to think about this for a moment. If you were told the circle has a radius of 5 inches, and we have an angle measure of 1.5 radians. What would be the arc length that's subtended by this angle? Well, if we have 1.5 radians, that means one and a half radius lengths fits on this arc length. So we get five inches plus 2.5 inches for a total of seven inches, or seven, sorry, 7.5 inches. Or you could have said we have 1.5 times five inches, which is a 7.5 inch arc length. Okay, next part says, what if the circle has a radius of three feet and an angle measure, whoops, of 0.7 radians? Well, let's look at that. If we have a radius of three feet and our angle measure is only 0.7 radians, that means this arc length is 70% of three feet or 0.7 times 3, which gives us a 2.1 foot arc length. What we see in both of these equations is that arc length is determined by multiplying the angle measure in radians by the radius length. It's very important though that theta be in radians. So we get S equals theta times R. This is something you want to know. This is an important equation, and it should make sense to you as well. If we know how many radians we, ha we have, that tells us how many radius lengths fit onto the arc length. So we just take that number, multiply by the length of a radius, and that gives us the length of the arc. All right, let's look at an example. We have skiing Klaus. Klaus is skiing around a circular ski trail. Do not question the feasibility or practicality. All right, the ski trail has a radius of 150 yards. Klaus skis 90 yards in two minutes. Okay, first question was Klaus's linear speed. Well, if Klaus is skiing 90 yards in two minutes, that means he's skiing 45 yards per a minute. He covers 90 of these yards in two minutes. What angle has Klaus swept out? Okay, if Klaus has gone 90 yards in two minutes, so if he's gone 90 yards, we want to figure out what's this angle theta. We know arc length equals theta times r, so if the arc length is 90, and the r is 150, then theta is going to be 90 divided by 150, which gives us 0 0.6, 0 0.6 radians. And that's because 0.6 of a radius length fits onto that arc length of 90 yards. Okay, so Klaus has swept an angle of 0.6 radians. Since Klaus sweeps out this angle in two minutes, that means his angular speed is 0.6 radians per two minutes, or 0.3 radians per minute. Do make sure to include units. What area does Klaus's angle cover? Okay, that means we're looking for this yellow shaded part. Well, we could find the area of the entire circle. The area of the entire circle we find with pi r squared. So pi times 150 squared. 